Hey guys, in this video we're going to see how GPT-5 performs when it comes to human content. So three months ago I made this video about the human prompt where I show you how to use the human prompt to get humanized content using ChatGPT-4. Now we have ChatGPT-5 and now we're going to compare GPT-4 to GPT-5 to see does GPT-5 perform better, worse or it's the same. And I'm using three AI detectors, I'm using zero GPT. I'm using Scribber also, and then I'm using Originality with the Light 100 because that's the AI detector that I used in the last video. So let's get started. So what you need to do first is uh, you need to click on the link below in the description to download the uh, human prompts. If you don't want to do that, you can just take a screenshot here because that's what it looks like. The way that I use this, the human prompt is that uh, I have a keyword that I want to write an article about. That keyword is search engine strategies. So let me search on Google for search engine strategies. Good. <clears throat> so I'm looking at the organic search results here. So the way that I use the human prompt to get these articles is I am fetching two or three search results on page one because then I know I get SEO optimized content. I also get something that's relevant for the search query because they're on page one. And I'm uh, fetching for this example, LibGuides, Content Square and Wikipedia. And I am now starting out with, uh, yeah, so I'm starting out with GPT-5. So I will ask ChatGPT, read these web pages. And uh, then I have them here because I prepared in advance. Dude. So now ChatGPT 5 will go out because it has web, web um, browsing capabilities. It will go out and visit these pages and then summarize them for me. But I'm, yeah. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. Then next, I'm going to simply copy the human prompt. And that's this part. So I'm going to copy it all. Copy and paste. And something that uh, you should be mindful about in the human prompt is that uh, I'm saying optional down here. And I'm saying optional because I have noticed that uh, if I insert this specific line down here, pull in specific dates and numbers and examples from the original sources wherever possible, if I include that, I do notice that it tends to be more robotic and more machine-like. So, and that's exactly what we don't want. So uh, in this example, I am deleting this line because I also deleted that in the example three months ago. So I'm just going to delete this line. Dude. And uh, you do need to insert your target keywords. So the article, uh, I want you to write an article based on the web pages you just read. The article must be about search engine strategies. That's my keyword. I want you to follow the writing instructions below. The article must be a minimum 1000 words. The tone must be professional, human, and unpolished, like someone explaining things out loud, not writing a polished essay. Sentences should vary in length, some short, some longer and messy. Avoid robotic structure, avoid overly poetic or whimsical language. And the writing instructions, no metaphors that personify search ending strategies. So this is the keyword once more one more time. Or use cutesy comparisons. Don't waste time with vague intros. Start with useful info right away. Do not use filler phrases, casual idioms, or cliches. Avoid phrases like all that jazz, you name it, not that smart, seriously, etc. Don't use EM dashes or buzzwords like streamlines. How to include facts. And this is the optional that we're not going to use. Include real practical facts about search engine strategies, why it matters, when to do it, how it's done, what common mistakes people make, and what happens if you don't do it correct. Stay weird and uneven in tone, but keep it grounded and rooted in facts no fluff. So uh, let's just get started. Dutch. And now it's uh, writing our article. And I made sure to delete this uh, optional line. So if you remember from the video I recorded three months ago, it actually scored 0% AI in uh, 0GPT. It scored 0% AI in Scriber. And I think it all scored 96% human or something like that. You can watch the replay, but also basically 0% AI or, you know, 1% AI in originality. So it was uh, as close to human as possible. 
we all know that uh, the original originality originality AI detector is the hardest one to beat so yeah so that's just how it is all right so now it's done and uh, this is what the article looks like search engine strategies what they are why they matter and how to get them right search engine strategies are not an optional side project and so on and so forth yeah we're not going to read it now so uh, let's just uh, copy and paste let's check zero gbt detects And while it's uh, thinking, let's uh, get started with the uh, uh, AI detector, free AI detector. Here it is. Let's get started with Scriver and detect. So let's go back. All right. So Zero GPT says 37.19% uh, 30, AI. With GPT-4, it's 0%, so it is actually worse in uh, GPT-5. I thought it would be better anyway. So let's see here. Analysis complete. Let's refresh. Detect. 43% AI. That's uh, not too good. And uh, let's check. Uh, let's check originality. I will click pause because I know that it's a little bit slow. Hmm. 67, 67% confidence that it's likely AI. So um, yeah, that's not good. Actually, um, yeah, that's bad because in the when we did use the GPT-4. We got the uh, got the human content in uh, originality, but I have a uh, I have a, a good uh, I have good news for you guys because I actually figured out how to actually make it better because instead of just pasting the human prompt prompt like I just did, uh, I actually copy this. You can actually do like this, paste it again, but then you need to. Oh, that's looks looks good. Let's let me just go over here and copy it from here. Good. When you paste in the human prompt, you can simply do like this. I want you to write an article based on the web pages you just read. Think deep and long. The article must be about search engine strategies. I want you to follow the writing instructions below. Good. So simply by inserting this sentence here, this short sentence, think deep and long, I assure that uh, GPT-5 uses the thinking version. So you can see here that it gets, it's uh, okay. So you can't see it because it did it while I was not showing the screen. But when you are adding this, think deep and long, what happens is that ChatGPT-5 switches in the background from the fast, fast version of GPT-5 to the longer thinking version. So this means for our sake, for the sake of what we're doing, we are making sure that it's actually using all of the available resources for us to get the best possible version of this article. And I tested this before I recorded this video and I got a better result uh, than just using the default chat GPT-5. So let me just uh, check here. Do, do, do. Now it's uh, thinking and it's writing do, 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 and we just see search engine strategies are the concrete decisions and actions that raise your pages for the queries that matter. Uh, so yeah, so you do, you, you can see that you do need to perform some form of editing because search engine strategies, they don't raise my pages. They improve the visibility in the search engines. Uh, but we, I understand what it's talking about, but it's just an example that you do need to edit the articles that it outputs. But anyway, so let's just, I think that it's done. And let's uh, copy all of this here. Closing. Uh, I will not, I don't think I will include this sources because I never do that. So let me just skip that. Uh, let's check uh, what, it, let's check how it performs in zero GPT. 
while it's thinking, let me do the same. Get started with the scribble. Dutch. So let's go back to zero GPT. So it's a little bit longer now. So therefore, it of course it takes longer. Three point seventy five percent AI. So much 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 better already. And just by simply by adding this line, uh, think deep and long. Simply by adding this, much better already. And uh, I think that. Okay, so the article is too long. So that's the thing with Scribber. It is free, but you you do need to you do need to do like what I'm showing you because the article was 1,700 words, and the maximum in Scribber in the free version is 1,200 words. So you do need to make sure 12% AI, 12% likelihood AI, also better. And let's go back to the difficult guy here. So let's uh, do it. Paste. Scan, uh, scan, yeah, so now it's scanning. And let me just click pause while it's scanning. All right, so now our originality AI is done. And there you have it, guys. Likely original with 100% confidence. So uh, I think that's extremely interesting and it's extremely important also for you to know and for me to know for all of us that uh, we, in order to get the <clears throat> best version of GPT-5, you do need to instruct it to think deep and long. And if you do that, then this is the result. So I think that's interesting. Uh, so just for fun, uh, let's just check the light 101. I don't know if it works. Let's check, let's click scan. So yeah, uh, I just had to refresh in the background because it didn't load. But uh, let's see. So the light 101, I didn't try that before. That's a new version of their AI scanner or AI detector. Let's see. Let me just click pause. All right. So when we're using the light 101, it says likely AI with 72% confidence. So apparently we don't trick the uh, the uh, 101 version uh, with, the, with the human prompt and the GPT-5. But, um, but anyways, guys, uh, there you have it. Uh, so <coughs> what we can see is that we can still get humanized content or human-like content that can uh, trick Zero GPT. It can trick Scriver. It cannot trick uh, the Light 101, at least not in the current version of the the human prompt. But um, but it's at least it not it's not 100% AI, AI at least, and uh, it also does say that it's zero percent plagiarism. So uh, yeah. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.